Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode on the Hermitcraft Season 7 server. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, today is episode 31 and I've got a great episode planned for you. We got a lot to do today because we got big plans, baby. But before we get into the video, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. And my question is very simple for you. You're allowed to join the Hermitcraft server for one hour. When you join, all of the Hermits are online and at their base waiting to play with you. What do you do during your hour? Let me know down in the comment section below. So I want to say a quick thank you for all of the awesome feedback on the last episode with the base builds. And if you were seeing ads and everybody just being generally cool about me, cool, me being being cool with me running the Filmora ad. Now, the funny thing is, is that when I did that ad, a lot of other companies reached out almost immediately. Things like Raid Shadow Legends and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of curious if you guys are OK with me doing more. I know companies like Raid Shadow Legends, for example, have kind of a bad stigma. So I just want your feedback on what you guys think about that. Is it more of a Jevin, collect the bag, who cares? Or no, don't do it at all. I want to know. So to get started with today's episode, I, uh, I have an interesting story to tell you. So I was at the laundromat. Tuesdays is uh, sheets and bed linen day. <laughs> and I walk in and I'm doing my laundry and I see this magazine. It's probably four or five years old. Uh, and it had this like blue like building on it and it looked like an ocean build and i'm like whoa that looks amazing so i googled it and found it and i think we are going to do a major base revamp because of that so i'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to photoshop right now because i want to show you that picture and what i sort of have for the idea of this base moving forward okay so this is the image that i found i am so excited to show you guys this because like you can never never guess where inspiration is going to strike I saw the magazine, I Googled it, I found this image, and here we are. So first things first, what am I going to be doing? Well, these uh, exterior circles here, these are not going to be built. I don't want them in my base. Um, this down here is going to be a bit smaller, probably about right here. Um, and so to give you some perspective on how big this is actually going to be, these pillars that you see right here, these are the villager farms those villager farms sit on top these are the pillars that go down that we've been working on that design for that means that this thing is going to be probably 35 to 40 percent bigger and up in the air and so this middle column right here this is going to go down into the creeper farm and then the whole big thing up here we're going to have a massive automated storage system inside there i still might use the one downstairs but i'm not sure uh, inside of there, we'll have other types of farms and other things that we need for the season and for the server. But I'm so stoked on this, guys. This is going to be a massive, massive undertaking, but I am so ready for this. So I hope you guys are excited because I am ready to go. Okay, so the first part of this project is to get rid of this top structure. Now, one thing about Minecraft that I am not a huge fan of is the ability to break glass fast. It is a very tedious project. And so, you know, thought I would just blow it up instead. It's not a ton of glass and I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal. So let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Now the goal here is to blow the top structure up and not everything else up. So let's see if we can make this work. Uh, you know, maybe try every couple of blocks here. Let's do three there, like that right there. And then kind of move it forward a little bit like right there. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna go pretty well, I think. I am probably gonna blow everything up and it's gonna be kind of awesome. All right, so let's spread this out. Oh yeah, this is gonna, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think we should probably take bets at this point at how much I'm actually gonna blow up. I am not a, I'm not a, I'm not a boomer. I don't know how to do TNT very well. I just place it down and hope for the best. Okay, so let's get this all finished. I gotta get a screenshot of this too. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. So then I'll blow that all up. The, the one thing that I'm a little nervous about is that this TNT is gonna go downwards. Now, if it does go downwards, it's not the end of the world as we are gonna be removing a lot of this base anyways, but uh, try to keep things a little formal, I think. All right, let's get the other side here. Now this is probably a little too close together do these okay who here thinks that i am going to completely fail show of hands in chat <laughs> no all right um 
let me see if I can find my bow real fast. It would probably be in here if I had it. I need a flame bow. I don't know what happened to my uh, looky looky at my bookie bow. All these uh, chests are just so misorganized. I had to move all of the items back into the main area. There we go. Cool. All right. So let me uh, let me get up there. We got to get an awesome screenshot real fast. <laughs> oh, my God. It looks so good. Okay, so I am now on my camera account. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up. I wanted a better view. So I think about right here is going to do. So let me tab over to the other screen real fast. So you should see me flying on the monitor. Now, let me go ahead and shoot this sucker. So see if I can get it first try. Not even close. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe we should just shoot it and run. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. We got this. We got this. There we go. And I forgot to put my rockets on my bar. I'm doing good. Okay, so far so good. I can't really see it. Oh, we didn't get all of them. Okay. Number two. No, come on. Hopefully we get it this time. I can't see it. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, guys, we actually did it. I thought that I was going to make so much damage up here, but we did such a good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get this final piece taken care of these final pieces. So like maybe right there. I don't want to blow it up too much. Like, let's try that real fast. I'm so bad with TNT, though. It's like it's kind of hilarious. So let it do its thing. I'm probably going to take damage, maybe. No. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's definitely going to take a little bit of work to come back through here and remove all of this. Um, so now that we have that portion done, there's a lot more work to be done here, but I do actually want to keep some of these blocks. So, for example, um, I, I kind of want to go through and mine out all the glass up here now because we lost the glass up top there. I don't want to lose this glass. So I think what I'm going to do now is get some filler blocks. Maybe even sand would probably work. Just fill this in with sand. And then I'm going to go through and blow up this ring. Um, now, I love the fact that you can do this with TNT now because I, uh, oh, I didn't know that was an actual thing. What? That's awesome. Can All right, so I am down in our farm area. Now, I realized that when I built this, I, I kind of did it wrong. I think I want to have a three wide space in between this, so I'm going to move that back. But before I do that, let's go upstairs real fast and show you... Sketchy. <laughs> show you the final project or progress that we've got so far today on uh, the base. I got rid of... Um, pretty much the entire ring that took quite a long time oh i missed some okay well i'm gonna work on that tonight on the stream so if you already aren't at the stream make sure you are so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna maybe think of a couple different ways to farm um probably our melon now i've got to have melon seeds in here somewhere melon pumpkin there we go so let's head back down <clears throat> excuse me now a long time ago I used to do a farm type that was, um, I don't know, like, I, I guess it would be like old school, but I'm assuming we could probably make it some way better now, um, maybe using observers. So say this is my seed block 
and I have pistons on both sides of that. I suppose, I don't know. I'm assuming you probably need a dirt block for the seed to grow, right? So if I were to maybe put a observer facing downwards looking at that, that might be the best bet for um, our farm. Because the way that I was initially going to do it was I was going to have the observer look upwards, which is not like that. But I don't think the seed can grow on that like that. Okay, so I've got the farm moved back. I like it flush with the wall, how we have the four wide. We still need to get the hoppers in, but we should be good to go there. Everything is planted and that should be fine. So now we're going to work on the redstone for our automatic farms. So let me get this planted real quick. Still need to get the hoppers for that. I've uh, used pretty much all the hoppers I have. So I've been digging out over here just so we can kind of get a quick test in. Get this down. Okay, so first things first, let's, uh, the one on the side here, it needs to be lined up with the wall so it'll sit right here. We definitely, definitely want the hoppers to be uh, right there, which means we need our uh, redstone to start right here so just like that i don't think i have a hoe with me uh let me make a hoe real fast because i do want to get this set up officially so i know exactly what i'm doing um okay so diamond hoe i think this is probably like the 10th diamond hoe i've made and then we'll grab pumpkin seeds uh, grab some bone meal there we go perfect awesome so these don't really need water to grow anymore that's a pretty good thing for us so pumpkin seeds put that there and then let's bone meal that so we can get that going as fast as possible all right fantastic so now that we have that we want to harvest these with pistons in the back i suppose the best way to handle that actually could probably just be this oh that would that would definitely definitely notice a change and then all we would really need to do is do some quick and dirty redstone which would probably just be this right here that might actually be the easiest way to do that i didn't really think of that i don't know huh okay well then if we're going to do that then we're probably going to need at least a separator in between them so we would have uh let's see piston piston wall piston piston wall so just like that all the way down yeah that seems really really easy so i'm gonna watch this uh just to be sure and then we can put our observers in i need to go um repair my silk touch pickaxe but somebody i think it was x was at the spawner i'm kind of like waiting to see if it's gonna do anything i need to remove the rest of that but that should be that should be really simple redstone though like that should be real easy it could probably even be even more compact than that but i'm gonna leave it like that for now there we go what am i doing here why oh this needs to be a wall there we go so just like that and then grab our redstone dust and you and that should fire both pistons no problem there we go i really like that setup yeah that that looks pretty good hopefully that will line up correctly let me do a quick test so there wall it needs to line up to here Ooh, yeah absolutely hate to see it it's like one block off so what i might have to do is uh start from the other side and come back this way all right so we are heading back down i want to work on the design a little bit now nim some of these carrots nim 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 there we go all right so uh unfortunately it didn't really line up the way we wanted it oh we got a pumpkin so it definitely does work then so i definitely need to get those hoppers in here too so we are oh uh, i was like what happened i didn't realize that i accidentally trampled the crops that's my fault guy so we're gonna put lamps in here i was thinking about maybe trying to put something else above it i feel like there's a lot of wasted space there um so then uh, i don't know i i kind of want to do in stone here but i'm not a huge fan of the way that that looks 
might try to figure out something else for that. The main thing I came down here to figure out though was the floor uh, design. We can figure out the ceiling and stuff later. All right, let me get rid of this real fast. So this is gonna come in here and these will be the lamps. There we go. And then, gosh, my inventory is so full. Hold on, let me see if I can empty some stuff out here. There we go. All right, so then we'll have uh, Prismarine coming in just like that. And eventually we need to kind of carry that. F oh, I hit the wrong button. My keyboard has macros on the side where my wrist sets. There we go. So I have this here. Um, and then I was thinking for like these little areas right here that we would do maybe in stone, see what that looks like, or maybe even some glass or something. So let's do that. And then I think I'm gonna put some uh, prismarine bricks in right there. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I don't really not a real big fan of that look. Maybe this instead. Something like that. No, God, no, that looks terrible too. All right, well, we'll figure that out. Okay. So then um, I'm thinking, oh, I forgot that I had glass there. Silly Goose Jevin. All right, so glass. So glass would sit right there. That kind of gives us a better idea of where things are supposed to go. Just like that. All right, I like that a lot. And then bring that forward there and then there. Maybe something like that because that would technically be in line with that like even this right here should be in stone just like that all right and then i wonder if we should carry this forward like that some and then so that means that this wall right here will be in stone just like that okay that doesn't seem too hateful and then if we were to bring the lamps forward one more then we could maybe start going every other one like that down the line I don't know how well that's going to line up with that. Oh, it lines up kind of perfectly. Well, not really because the middle part here is kind of out of it, but I don't know. It's going to take shape. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to kind of figure out what we want to do down here anyways. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what I did with my nether stars. I think I had four of them. I don't think I've used them because I've only seen two beacons, but I have looked through pretty much everything that I have. I know we had one on the item frame. So there still should be a few more, but I don't know what happened. So um, I went to the nether and I might go play the lottery today because I got three wither skeleton skulls in less than 20 minutes. It went really fast. Um, pretty much zero issues with that at all. So we're going to head down to the old cave of here and do our fight like we normally do. One of these should probably work fine. Ooh. What's this? Bone meal? Okay, what's in the other one? Um, okay. Sorry, my microphone. Hopefully the sound looks okay. The little bar seems weird. I don't know. Anywho, I'm thinking about right here should do. So let's go ahead and eat some food. Nim, 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 nim. There we go. Get that going. I didn't bring an ender chest or anything with me because I'm an absolute pleb and forgot. Awesome. So let's get our skulls ready. One, two, three. Run! Nah, this is gonna be a really easy fight, guys. Especially with the looky looky on my bookie bow. I should be able to take him down to uh, half health pretty quickly. Oh, I just, this thing does so much damage. Full cock back? Wow. Okay. So this is with a full cock. Cock back, sorry, or pull back or whatever. <laughs> Wrong word, Jevin. Oh my god. It's so loud. Hold on. Turn that down to like 20%. There we go. Alright, so he's like half health. Let's go back and recover. Oh, it's not gonna let me eat. Come on, game. Wasting time here, man. There we go. So that'll get that recovered. Try a strength move here. No. Whew. 
I think I might actually die this time. Oh no, I got hearts. I got hearts. We're good. We're good. This time, this isn't my normal fight, guys. This is like, um, this is like one of those fights where you just kind of risk it all real fast. I don't want to go back over there just yet. Oh, he's right there. I got to move down a little bit. This is a very casual wither fight. But I do not want to be withered when I go back over there. 12 seconds left. Uh, almost full health. All right, we should be good. Oh my God, it lasts forever. All right, come on. I'm going in, boys. Oh, I died. All right, well, I forgot to bring a bucket with me. So we're riding the water down. We're going to get our stuff back and it's not going to be a problem. Hopefully he doesn't destroy my stuff. That was the one thing that I didn't think of. So this could go pretty badly and he's shooting right now. So we got to kind of hurry and switch to this. There we go. Hey, don't blow my stuff up, please. I would really appreciate to get that stuff back. Thank you very much. Looks like he's already blown it up. There we go. All right. So is my stuff down here? Did he blow? He, he think he, I think he blew all my stuff up already. How did I get a wither rose? I guess he killed me and got the wither rose. Wow. Okay. Well, we just lost everything. Fantastic. I can't believe we lost everything that fast. I wasn't even gone five minutes. He must have just been sitting here blowing everything up or something then. Because everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's not a big deal. I can get my stuff back. That was such an absolute failure. Oh my God. That was so bad. <laughs> goodness guys goodness all right well i'm gonna go get my stuff back that won't be too big of an issue man that sucks and uh at least i got the nether star though that's good i can't complain there i guess that just gives us something to do on stream though uh anyways guys i think i'm probably gonna go ahead in the episode here sucks we lost all of our stuff there but we got mm, tons and tons of tools not a big deal plus like 15 elytras so anywho i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did have a great day so uh this is i jevin peace out everybody